Brittany Maynard was a 29-year-old girl with terminal brain cancer. She was also an advocate for legalizing death with dignity. Death with dignity is the concept that a terminally ill person with cancer should have the option to die a natural and a comfortable death. Brittany ended her life on November 1, 2014 with the help of the Death with Dignity Act. I want to take some time today to explain what Death with Dignity is, what I was included in the act, and why I do not agree with it and I do not feel that it should be legal. First, let's talk about what Death with Dignity is. A lot of people didn't really know about this act until Brittany Maynard stepped forth and then it went nationwide. Little does anybody know that the Death with Dignity Act is only legal in three states. The first state that legalized it was Oregon in 1997, Washington then legalized it in 2009, and lastly Vermont legalized it last year. Many people have decided to end their life using this act. According to the Oregon Department of Human Services, in 2013 alone they've had 71 people die with the help of this act. The Washington Department of Health states that 119 people have died using this act just in 2013. Vermont hasn't released a report yet since it just got legalized last year. I want to take a minute and explain how it works. In order to get the lethal prescription pills, you have to live in one of those three states. People are actually moving to that state just so that they can use the act. You have to prove to the doctor that you live there and you must be 18 years old you must have terminal cancer that kills you in six months, and you must be able to communicate with a clear head. Nobody can speak for you. This isn't just an option that you can go to the doctor and ask for. According to Daniel Enberg with Slate.com, you must ask the doctor three different times. The first time must be an oral communication with the doctor. The second time you go back 15 days later and orally communicate with the doctor again. The third time you file a written request and you must have two witnesses to sign on your request. Once you're approved for it, the doctor then gives you the prescription to go to your local drugstore and get the prescription. The patients then take this medicine, they take it at home, and they can take it whenever they like. Five minutes after you take the pills, you slip into a coma, and death normally follows about 30 minutes later. Depending on your health, sometimes it can take longer. Next, I want to discuss why patients and people in general feel that it should be legal. They think that it's their choice because it's their life. Terminal illnesses do not come without consequences, and they feel that by using this right, they can eliminate all pain and suffering altogether. They think that they should have the option whether they should suffer or not. They also think that by using this, they won't have to worry about you know, live in a vegetative life. They won't have to worry about not being able to think for themselves and their family making all the decisions for them. They feel that this makes no pressure on anybody and that it's a better decision for their family in general. When you ask patients the main reason why they're doing this, it's because that they don't want their family to suffer. And they don't feel that they're being selfish by making this decision. Like I said, Brittany had terminal cancer. She had seizures every week and she had headaches every day. She felt that by ending her own life, she was also ending her family's suffering as well. I want to discuss now why I feel that it shouldn't be legal. Do the details of how it worked not bother you? The fact that you take it, you slip into a coma, and then you just die. This act is being called assisted suicide because that's exactly what it is. It's suicide. People are killing themselves because they don't want to suffer. Most people feel that these people are playing God. All people don't believe in God, so this isn't a good excuse for everyone. But I'm a Christian, and I feel that we all have an appointed time to die, and it's not up for us to decide when that time is. Kara Tippett also suffers from terminal cancer, and she wrote a letter to Brittany Maynard asking her not to end her own life. The website A Holy Experience published Kara's letter, and in her letter she made a great point. Kara said, Suffering is not the absence of goodness. It is not the absence of beauty. But perhaps it can be the place where true beauty can be known. Reading Kara's letter, you can tell she's suffering. But she feels that by living out her life till her last breath, she will die with dignity. A lot of people don't agree on this law, and that's okay. But my opinion, I do not agree, and I do not feel that it should be legal. Patients are making a selfish decision because they're not thinking about their family. They're robbing their family of precious moments with them. 
This diagnosis is always hard on people, but it, you can make it not be as hard by enjoying every moment with your friends and family. I know a person who is fighting terminal brain cancer, and he has been given a year to live. He is making the most out of every moment he can with his family and his friends. Cancer is a horrible thing, and moments with your loved one are the most precious moments. Patients need to embrace it, not serve themselves a death sentence. Doctors take a Hippocratic Oath. This oath holds a number of ethical standards. According to MedicineNet.com, the Hippocratic Oath means that each physician that takes it will treat the ill to the best of one's ability, preserve patients' privacy, and teach the secrets of medicine to the next generation and so on. The doctors that are associated with this act, they're breaking this oath. Another reason that I do not agree is doctors aren't always right. Doctors can misdiagnose you. Brittany Maynard was given six months to live. Her death should have occurred in October. She ended her life on November 1st. She already lived longer than the doctor said she would live. Doctors are not 100% right. They might tell the patient that they would experience pain, but every case is different and pain can be relieved with palliative care. Taking one's life eliminates the chance for miracles and even possible recovery. Thankfully, the Death with Dignity Act is not legal in all states. But since Brittany Maynard came forth, the act has increasingly become better known. We need to stop it before it starts. Living your life until you take your last breath is dying with dignity. Allowing people to choose, people will abuse the system, basically legalizing murder. I hate that Brittany Maynard and others using this act didn't realize this before they chose to end their life. Finally, we need to realize that this act will allow people who are living to take their life early if they want to, and it will become a frequent thing. If this act comes to your state, we need to vote no. We need to keep it away. Because death with dignity is assisted suicide, and suicide in any form is not dying with dignity. Thank you.